Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here. My review of Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, which is Johnny Knoxville's new film, which is based on the character that he did in the Jackass films, the old man character. I think like the last one he had his grandson with him, and he was always kind of getting into trouble with his grandson. They had that like montage. But the movie's done in that style of a films like Borat and Bruno, where they have a storyline mixed in with the hidden camera pranks, and they, you know, have parts of the storyline on the unsuspecting people through the hidden camera. So the movie's pretty much all shot hidden camera, except for a couple different things, which were the scripted stuff for the movie to keep it going on. The basic idea of this is uh, Johnny Knoxville's character, his wife just died, and it's basically him, and then he, his grandson ends up, you know, his mother's, you know, his daughter's going to jail so that he has, to, she has to give the grandson to Johnny Knoxville to get him to the father who's this real screw up guy and um, he has to take him cross country to get him, you know, get the kid there and it's kind of all the situations they get along with the way, you know, the hidden camera stuff with problems in the store, in a strip club, and a whole bunch of different locations, in a bingo, which I really like the stuff in the bingo with what happens. I don't want to talk too much about the um, the skits and the pranks and that kind of stuff about what happens. Because I really don't want to ruin it. It's more fun. I mean, the trailer shows you a couple things, but a lot of the funniest stuff you've not seen yet. Um, it was cool, too. Jill Kill, you know, from YouTube, a friend of mine, she appears in this film in the pageant scene. So being definitely be on the lookout for her. Uh, you see her interviewing the, the girls in the pageant. Um, but I don't know. I really enjoyed this film. It was, I thought it was a really fun film. Um... To me, it, you know, it was kind of, like I said, like Borat, but a little bit less of that nervous feeling. Because Borat was kind of stuff where it was getting into levels of like, kind of making you really, really nervous. Kind of all the stuff that he did, like the Ali G and the Bruno, had those kind of really nervous moments. This one was more, more in good fun and actually had some heart behind it and had a really pretty good story to it and worked. I thought it worked, you know, the most successful of all these kind of movies. You know, t to me, I, I just really liked it. Of course, I really loved um, Borat as well. But I would highly, highly recommend everyone check this out. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this one. I want to give a shout-out, too, to Abraham and Sarah, who I ran into, who are viewers who I ran into at the movies. So I'll put a picture with them at the end of this video. So like I said, guys, this is just a quick little review. But I wanted to tell you guys that I really, really enjoyed the film. That was a really fun film. There hasn't been too many really funny comedies in a while. Uh, so that's, you know, I like going to, like, these kind of things that are really just sort of, just for fun, you know, like just a fun time, and this is definitely what this was. Anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.